plays. Hello everybody, True Marvelous here, your Million G Gamer. Welcome to this video. This is a first impressions look at Max, the Book of Chaos. It's uh, published by Jandusoft and developed by Orangi Games, who have not released the game on Xbox as of yet, so this is their debut title. It's priced at £6.69. There is a slight launch discount, and um, please check for your regional equivalent. So it's a, it's a very cheapy title. It's a budget title, so it's um, one of those where um, it's if you've got any doubts about it, and it's you know cheap enough for to take a punt on, basically. So we're going to have a look at it and uh, see what is what. So um, for so many space and time, it doesn't matter where or when. In a dark night of a dark summer school, it's like the dark dark story, isn't it? You know, the, the dark dark forest is a dark dark house that lives a dark dark cat in a dark dark room and all that stuff. Uh, it's a Necronomicon. Yes, my lord. They should have done the uh, Army of Darkness um, Evil Dead um, wording. What was it Cladu Vitaru Nictu or something like that? Something like that, anyway. What was that noise? Oh no, no electricity. I guess they haven't paid the bill yet. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so this is us. This is Max then, I guess? It's gonna be quiet. I don't even hear Mr. Brownstone snore. Press it to move. Bloody hell, he moves fast. He, he moves so fast, he blurs. I mean, that, 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 that's too fast, honestly. That looks, that looks a bit silly. A to jump. Okay. Can you double jump? Nope. Oh my god, he can go even faster. He can dash. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next area, storage. Okay, it's a duck. Not a duck, is it? What are they? Pelicans. But they have long legs. He doesn't have long legs, so it's not really a pelican. It's apparently that's Mr. Brownstone. He's the janitor. The book's been activated. He's been given a super gun. Cool. Okay. I'm just skipping through most of his text here because I, I don't want to concentrate on a lot of the text and get bogged down in cutscenes. I'm going to show as much of the gameplay as we possibly can. At the end of the day, you don't play a cutscene, you play the game. There's training area, school playground, shut up and listen. Tutorial stage. Okay, let's go. It's a health at the bottom, points at the top. Yep, yeah, life. Yep. Yeah. Time you must survive in each level. Very important because the enemies. Oh no, because the stage will not end until the counter reaches zero. Okay. Okay. Right trigger or X to shoot. I'm going to use the right trigger. Okay. Aim up. Jump or aim up. Okay. There's no diagonal fire. Mm, I hate. I don't you know, dislike when games do that. But you can fire up, you can fire diagonal. Weapon charge bar, keep shooting enemies. Okay, jump ahead and tag it. Okay, yep. Yeah. So you keep firing, and then you get a, a supercharged shot. Okay. I just some real action, I've got some real enemies. Okay, enemies can do status effects basically. They come on the left there. Uh, kill them using special items. Not bad. Double shot. No, it's triple shot, maybe. Ah, double shot. Okay, use the bomb to kill her. Where's the bomb? Oh, the bomb. Okay, smart bomb. There's the room. Just teach some good manners and finally, no one's important. The enemies go and capture some of your friends, put them in locked cells. So I think we're in a school. I think these are students. I'm say as many as possible. So I just shoot the cage. The mock cage, as it is. Okay, are we done? We are the chosen one, are we? Apparently, anybody could have completed that, couldn't they? Again, I'm just going to skip this. I just imagine happy book or corrupted turned into evil book. That classic tale. Okay, I believe this game is pretty easy for achievements because based on the people who have played it so far, there's a high percentage of them have completed it and very quickly. So I don't, I don't expect this is going to be a very hard uh, completion at all. Uh, so we've got Little Invaders and beginning we've just done. So easy, funny, arcade adventure, 
You can enjoy the story and get through the game killing enemies and having fun. There's a challenge but balance for enjoyable experiences. And original, this is how the game is designed. Let me just have a quick look on true achievements, see if there's any um, reference to difficulty level. No, there's, there's no reference to difficulty level whatsoever, so I guess you can play the game entirely on easy. In fact, they default it to easy, don't they, even though they say that's original. So we'll, we'll just have a look at the easy version for the sake of it, because if you are an achievement hunter like myself, um, I guess you're going to be playing it on that level anyway. So, okay, we have people trapped. Uh, that There's a lot of clipping going on and weird things going on with the people in the cages. Uh, that, that, that girl in the middle cage, her shorts are disappearing. Oh, so if they hit the ground, they do a shockwave. Okay. Community! And also invisibility. Yes, I win. Next level. It's the same as the first level. That's disappointing, isn't it? Nice background graphics. I mean, the, the characters are nice as well. Nicely drawn. The animation's a bit lacking because it runs so fast. Oh, I've got a kind of shotgun and it's rubbish. Got the invisibility immunity going on as well. I like how the background's pretty busy. It might did nothing attack me for the last 10 seconds of that level. Okay, I think we'll play up to that boss fight and then we'll probably leave it. Um, we've got a shop. Let's have it. Let's see what's in the shop. So we can buy weapons. Okay, we've got gold, which I can't afford anything. What else can we buy? Special items and skins. Get more money. Okay, super dash. One more potion. Any problem to survive? Okay, so like extra health and stuff like that you can get. And I'm not going to bother looking at skins. Hey, you can change level like that. Okay. Oh, why am I back on stage? Excuse me? Why am I back on stage one? Am I sure? Probably not. There we go. Press any button to skip. But we, I, I'm glad they actually put that in because that that would get annoying if you have to, you know, watch that at the start of every stage. The clock's going up. We're at minute ten now. I mean, we can actually fire that, though, so if you have a look, when uh, when I'm transitioning to all, shot occasionally does go diagonal. So why didn't they give us the ability to diagonal fire? I 
what the stars are ranked on. I wonder if it's getting all the uh, survivors to score. Obviously it's not. Oh, I died. That's nice. I like that. See the level plays out the same one if it's random. Yeah, it seems the same. Yeah, it's the same. Say how much effort that chat shot uh, takes to actually get going. Uh, it's pretty naff when it happens. All the health dropping. Okay, we should be one start away from the first boss. What is wrong with the people's trousers that keep disappearing? That shouldn't be happening, obviously. Oh my word, it's a big blob. He's gonna split into little ones, isn't he? He didn't split into little ones, that's, that's highly disappointing. Pooping on my head. Quicker, didn't it? This is pretty fun though, this is enjoyable. I just wonder how they uh, are gonna keep it going to the number of levels. They're gonna have to throw in a lot of variety. They're gonna have to try and change things up a bit every now and then. So we're just shooting these same old enemies over and over and over. It's gonna get uh, obviously pretty, uh, pretty old, pretty fast. But graphically, it's very good on the eyes. It's it's, it's great. Uh, music, music's excellent as well. Um, he moves a bit too fast for my liking. Double damage in the last three seconds. He moves a bit fast for my liking. Uh, he's definitely done with me a bit slower. You definitely need to be able to just shoot diagonally in a game such as this. It just makes sense. And the fact that when you transition from horizontal fire to vertical fire, you do get an odd diagonal shot that goes off means they they programmed in that 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 you know that angle. It's like what what's what's the reason why we can't just uh, shoot diagonally? Very weird. We've got individual aliens now dropping from the sky, that's not nice. Hold on, this should be the bus level, shouldn't it?
Why isn't this the boss? I thought I'd jump that. Okay, we're really giving some help. I like how you see the enemies in the background before they actually appear on screen as well. Did somebody drop a health pot? I mean, I had like um, a ton of health pots drop in a row uh, on the last level, and now I can't get one. Ah, we're dead. Okay, can I actually see what the boss is? Because I, uh, I think it's time to wrap this uh, video up. Or I could not do it just to, so it's not a spoiler. I can do it. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. It's only the first boss of many. It's going to be a blob, isn't it? No, it's a giant furry thing in... Okay. Cool, now a giant mutant bush seems to want to kill me. Oh, you mean, what is that? Mr. Gardner. Mr. Gardner is stuck in a giant boss bush. Okay, boss health bar, good. Okay, we can shoot it anywhere in its body. Okay, so far it's just doing silly attacks on us from left and right. Okay, what well, we must stay in the ground? Oh, okay. So every time you deplete a um deplete a bar of his energy, he's uh, changes what he does. Now he's dropping thorns from the sky, okay. Oh, and doing his hand attack as well. All right, we died. Anyway, just wanted to show you that boss, just to see what it was like, to see if the boss battles were pretty strong. They seem very pattern-based, so it not be too difficult. But yeah, this is all right. This is all right. And again, for the price, you know, it's if you're unsure about it, it's worth a shot at that price. It's just it's cheap, cheerful. It's a decent enough game. It looks an easy completion based on the stats and true achievements at the time of recording. So yeah, definitely, definitely good. So if you enjoyed the uh, video, I'd appreciate a like or a subscribe. That really does help me out. And do remember, if you want to see loads of great and not so great indie games on Xbox One, I do stream every night at twitch.tv slash truemarvelous. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.